everyone, welcome back to my channel and my collaboration with my partner in crime, Sharon Luska. Today we are working on Get Well Soon cards. I'm creating these three cards in front of you. I'm gonna be touching on a more serious topic than just a simple Get Well Soon card. I'm creating three cards for somebody who maybe uh, has just been diagnosed with a long-term illness or a terminal illness something that is not going to quickly go away or may never go away and so i thought that it was important to talk about this underserved topic in our community here i have the crafter's companion embossing folder it's very similar to a tim holtz embossing folder but this one has a little more texture but these are the stars of my show today i'm talking about sentiments and ways that we can lend encouragement to somebody who's just received or is going through a really difficult time right now. This is called Comforting Commands. It's from the Greetery. It comes with four scriptural uh, stamps and then it comes with supporting sentiments and then you can purchase the dies separately. So some of the supporting sentiments are rest in the knowledge that the God of the universe cares for you. Even in times when there are no words, he hears us when we pray. These are perfect for somebody who has faith in God. If that is not your jam, which I totally understand, I'm showing you a couple of alternatives. I showed you the sentiment suite, thinking of you. There is a sentiment in there that says thinking of you during this difficult time, hoping that you may find peace in the present and hope for tomorrow, which is beautiful. Thinking of you is a great way to let somebody know you care without saying get well soon. I'm also showing you a fabulous uh, sentiment set. This is called Modern Layers Floral. So if you're not into the stamp, uh, the layering stamp, the sentiments are perfect for this type of card. One of them says, Warriors lead with their heart. Hope it's the only thing stronger than fear. Hang in there. We will get through this. There's so much more ahead. It's amazing. So if you don't want to send a faith-based card, my cards today happen to be faith-based, but please hang in there with me because even if you choose not to use the sentiment, some of the techniques and things that I'm using in my cards today may resonate with you and get you thinking about uh, cards that you can send, even if they're not get well soon cards. So here is the Tim Holtz 3D Impresslet. It's called Oak Leaves. It comes with a large and small leaf. It will cut out a small and large leaf as well as impressing it with those beautiful veins. As you can see, I did create three different styles. I created a gold foil. I did some on craft cardstock. I also used white for this last one. I did use uh, some ink on it. It was a white oak leaf and I added some pink champagne and sugared lavender from Catherine Pooler. I then took my Gonzai Tombi watercolors and I went around the edges and down the veins lightly so that it added just a little bit more to the oak leaf. These are some pearls from Trinity Stamps. I'm gonna apologize because this video, as my friend Sharon Luska would say, is a little janky. Uh, here's the embossing folder. It is four by six, so it's not four and a quarter by five and a half, just so you know, but look at that beautiful embossing and the linen texture in the background. Again, 3D embossing folder. I do have a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches right here. And I am going to do technique number one, which is to add some distress oxide sprays to your panel. I started with carved pumpkin. I'm adding festive berry. And then I'm gonna bring in the beautiful flickering candle, which is the distress mica stain that recently was released by Tim Holtz. That's that yummy gold that you see there. This card sparkles and shines. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch it on camera. I don't know if you can see it there, but it is gorgeous. So I thought since we're using oak leaves, let's start with fall colors. And I heat them, I embossed it using the embossing folder and my die cutting machine. Every die cutting machine has different sandwiches, so I'm not gonna go through that. But I did wanna talk a little bit about 
uh, making sure that the 3D embossed areas really stood out. And so one of the ways that you can do that is using some crayons. I am actually using the Art Philosophy or Prima Marketing Oil Pastels. Same concept as the Tim Holtz crayons if you have those. I am running them across the embossed edge of this and then I just use my fingers to even out the coverage so that it's not all grainy as we all know crayons can be. It's nice and smooth. It adds a little bit more dimension. I think it helps those flourishes to really pop off the panel, but I don't stop at the flourishes. I also use the crayons on the linen portions, so it's really going to add a little bit more interest and depth to the card. I used some greens, some sienna oranges, some browns. I'm going to really come in right there and add some more of that dark brown, and I think that that really helps add the depth. For this card, I um, ended up not being able to get the whole thing on video. For some reason, I thought I hit record, and apparently I did not hit record. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through. I have a picture of the card. I'm just going to walk you through what I did. I went ahead and cut down a card base to 8.5 by 3.5, and, and then I um, cut the panel down to about four, I believe it's four by three and a half, and I glued it to the bottom half of the card. I did use the sentiment that says, be still and know, and I stacked it three times. I cut it out three times, and then I heat embossed it, and then I also heat embossed next to it the sentiment that says that I am God. I added the oak leaves and some little jewels, and that was my first card. For this second technique, I am adding some ink directly to the embossing folder. This is the deboss side, so that means that that back panel that has no ink on it is the one that has the raised edges of the flourish. So when I run this through my die cutting machine, it is going to emboss that color fully on the front section of the card. If you were to do it in the opposite and just run it over the raised panels, then you would get uh, the raised section would be the colored section and the rest of the card would be white. Here you're thinking, oh my gosh, what did she do to this card? Yeah, that's ugly. I'm going to soften this up, and the way that you soften that up is by adding some water. So I'm adding some water, letting that ink move, and then I'm going to set that panel aside. The third thing that you can do with embossing folders is you can emboss on pattern paper. So here I have a very subtle pattern. I did the embossing, and now I'm taking a Tombow Mono Sand Eraser, and I am running that across the top of the image. You can see that it's really helping to make that image stand out. I also run it across the linen embossed portions, and by the time I'm finished with this, you're not even going to realize that that was pattern paper. I'll use my Hero Arts white unicorn ink over the front of it, and that is technique number two. Technique number three, this is more detailed. It has, it's a much busier pattern. I did the same thing with the Tombow Sand Eraser, but this time I'm using colored ink. Again, yuck, this is ugly, but hey, let's fix that. We can fix that with that unicorn white. Now I'm not gonna run the unicorn white all the way around. I'm just gonna do it in sections of it. So I'm gonna leave some of that dark color in and I'm just gonna soften up some of the edges. Make sure that you don't put your ink, your brush back into your white ink because you will ruin your pad. Here's a look at all four card panels that we created. I'm gonna put a couple of cards together, kind of. Again, sorry about the jankiness. I forgot to hit record. So for this card, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I did cut the center panel down to about three and three quarter by five and a half. And I have added some gold foil. It's about a quarter inch piece on the left and the right side, and I centered it. As you can see, I did stamp out my image onto the die cut piece that coordinates with it 
and this card if I can find it here on my desk oh boy if you saw my desk you'd be amazed it says cast every care on him so I am adding some gold thread to the center and I will put that sentiment that is three layers deep so I did cut it out three times stacked it on top of each other for that chipboard look I'm going to use that gold watercolor on the white leaf so I'll run it lightly down the veins in the center and then around the edges to give it just a little bit more of that pizzazz. I'll glue down my leaves and finally I'll finish it off with three of the pearls from the Trinity stamp set. Then I'm going to start on card number three which is layering up this very thin pink paper. I'm going to use it on the edge of my card base. This card base was an, a little bit wonky. I end up making a mistake here. I <laughs> glue this onto a panel instead of gluing it onto a card base. So my card's going to be just a little bit thicker than it should be. Once I get this glued down, I am going to stamp out the sentiment that says pray without ceasing. The inside is going to say even in times when there are no words, he hears us when we pray. I stacked that front sentiment, pray without ceasing, up three times and I inked it or uh, stamped it using the pink champagne ink. I colored up the oak leaves. One of them is the pink champagne with the gold watercolor and the other one as you can see is gold foil. I added that strip of ribbon and a bow and that is my finished card. So I will show you a final picture of all three of the cards. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you Sharon for inviting me. I hope that I brought you some inspiration and that you were able to get some ideas on ways that you can encourage your friends who are really suffering. Here's a look at all three cards. Make sure that you head over to Sharon's channel to see what fabulous creation she's made today. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. <laughs>